So yeah, just a little bit of context. Um, we provide a managed phishing service uh, where clients can uh, report suspicious emails and uh, our SOC will take a look and uh, remediate, do some hunting around it. Uh, so everyone has a button in their Outlook where they can report any email as suspicious. Um, as you might imagine, uh, it's become quite a lot of emails. Um, do about a thousand phishing investigations a month. Uh, pretty small team. So we're looking for uh, any way really to you know, optimize that process, you know, any uh, kind of gain in terms of time spent um, either to get to the ticket or to resolve the ticket. Um, so yeah, let me show you. Here's an example of one such ticket. Uh, someone fish alerted this ACH remittance advice. Uh, it's got a single link in it. Um, and so, you know, at this point, the SOC might block that domain if it's malicious. And the kind of next step that we're always going to take is try to figure out who clicked on the link, right? Um, who might have, you know, in, in this case, when you click on it, you get a, a fake Office 365 login page. Uh, so we want to find out who got fished by this in the meantime, since it's been reported. Um, and so it's, you know, every time uh, we are checking our tools, right, our SIM, our EDR. Um, so Sentinel-1 is our EDR, and that's where we typically query, uh, you know, who visited this link. Uh, Sentinel-1 has uh, URL logging. So there's this little, this little browser extension um, that gets installed in all the major browsers, and it kind of logs where you're visiting. And then it also logs DNS requests. So every time we get a ticket like this, we're going to be querying for the exact same query, just with a different URL. Um, so Tim and The Rock helped me uh, automate that whole process um, and uh, basically updating the ticket with those results. So we'll go through real quick and, and show you how that works. Um, so to start, we have this. Uh, kind of trigger workflow. Uh, this is uh, you know, every time a ConnectWise Manage ticket is updated, uh, it's going to trigger this. Uh, if the status equals new, it's going to go to this next step where it's going to check if uh, it has this specific text. Uh, so every time someone submits a fish, it's going to have this text in the title. Um, and then at that point, we're calling our our sub workflow here, which is where we do most of the heavy lifting. So in here, um, we have a couple tasks, right? We need to uh, parse this text for anything that looks like a URL. And then we need to, uh, you know, create an array of URLs if there's more than one. And then ultimately submit that to Sentinel-1 to uh, see you know where the traffic is, who's who's clicked on it. And finally, we want to take those results and and put them right in the ticket. So the analyst you know comes to the ticket and they immediately know you know what remediation needs to happen, what what incident response needs to happen. So right here we're getting the notes from the ticket, kind of that first step um, where we're pulling in all of the text. Um, then uh, we're building the query string. And so you can see there's a few data aliases here. So the first one, uh, we are taking the, the full notes from the ticket and then we're populating this notes variable. Then we're doing some parsing, uh, trying to find you know, anything HTTPS, anything that looks like a URL. And then we are populating this, uh, you know, URL uh, array uh, that has a list of all of the URLs in the ticket. And finally, we are building out a Sentinel-1 query string. So this is the uh, kind of Sentinel-1 syntax where we're 
you know, URL in contains any case is uh, how you, uh, you know, query for multiple URLs at once. And so you can see we're referencing this, this current context, the URL string we just built. And then we're also querying DNS requests uh, using that same uh, variable. Um, so at that point, we submit the query to Sentinel-1. And by the way, when I first was looking at doing this, um, the Sentinel-1 integration didn't have the actions uh, to actually you know, hit this API endpoint. And since then, uh, the Roost team has you know, completely rebuilt Sentinel-1 and uh, there's so many actions in there and it's all uh, you know, kind of, every action has stuff that's abstracted away for you, you know, like you have the, the query, the to and from, like when you're gonna run the query. So they added new capability so we could actually do this and, and simplified it a lot more so you didn't have to submit like a generic HTTP request. So here's where we actually um, initiate that query with uh, the URLs we had. Uh, we have to wait a little bit for Sentinel-1 to run that query and give us results. And so at this point, we're running this get deep visibility event. So we've, we've kicked off the query and now we're pulling in the events. And then finally, we want to build our, uh, our S1 sightings, kind of the string that we're gonna update the ticket with. Um, so we're going to take all of those results from Sentinel-1, put it in S1 sightings, and then we are going to build kind of like a summary of, you know, websites accessed. You have this little, uh, you know, Roost has found these unique URLs, submitted them to Sentinel-1, who's visited, how many times has it been visited. So we're building that uh, kind of update. And then here we are updating the ticket so in line uh, it uh, it has all those results and so the end result of all of that is this we got this url um, there were no url logs for it and there was one uh, dns lookup um, and now you know these tickets usually have more than one url right so we have the built-in logic to find that and query for all of them. So here's like another example that has a bunch of URLs in it. Some of these are the same URLs actually. So we deduplicate them. And you can see here, this is how it looks when there's, there's multiple unique URLs in the message. And you can see, you know, 32 hits for, for four uh, workstations. 66 lookups for by 24 monitored assets and you can see going through each url um, but yeah so this i mean it's it's awesome it's going to save so much time this is a an action that every analyst is taking and repeating on every single one of these tickets a thousand times a month um, so it's it's a significant cost savings um, couldn't have done it without tim and the the rock <laughs>